more COVID restrictions have been lifted in Hawaii and are now in effect. Mainland travelers with proof of vaccination can now skip the mandatory quarantine and pretest. Also beginning today, more people are allowed to gather. Dallas Ontiveros joins us now with more on that from Salt at our Kaka'ako. Hey, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Kelly. Well, it's been a very active morning throughout Wake Up Today and Take Two. And yes, speaking of those social gatherings, starting today, people can gather up to 25 indoors and 75 outdoors, and restaurants can operate up to 75% capacity but must maintain that six-foot distance rule. We've been talking about it throughout Wake Up Today, and here to join us on Take Two, we have Timothy Golden, who is one of the partners for the Village Ball Shop and Tasting Room. Good morning. How's it going? Great. How are you? I'm doing well. So what do you think about this capacity being increased, but that rule's still in play? So for us, um, indoors, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. Um, you know, it's 75%, but there's a but with the six-foot um, distancing rule um, and it sort of negates the 75 percent we're still at the exact same seating capacity indoors outdoors it helps um, you know we'll be able to add another table outside um, and you know we'll be able to increase gatherings so when we're seeing a lot of people coming down the salt at our kakako and you know we'll be able to seat larger groups together so we've had a lot of people um, inquiring about you know having you know a birthday party outside with 20 people and now we can actually put all 20 people together which is fantastic you know we'll get to have people have gatherings but uh, on the inside you know we really need to get to the point where it's either 75 percent or six feet and ideally it would just be 75 percent without the six foot rule that's what we we're talking about over the commercial break was a lot about what's going on has to do with the language of the rules correct and like you said even if the restaurant operated at 75 75 percent and with no six foot distance rule that'd make a big difference right uh, it'd make a huge difference for us because yeah. you know right now uh, we're not unique with running wait times because we don't have the seats inside to you know meet the demand and so if we could add a few more seats that's just more people we could funnel through um, the shop and have uh, a safe experience still but it's just going to get more seats and with all that demand I mean that's why you see lines outside of places yeah. um, because it's not that they don't want to serve the customers it's just everybody's trying to play by the rules and you know you're going to run wait times when you only have half the seats that you originally had and it's hurting too yeah and, and it limits revenue right i mean at the end of the day you know we're we're hiring and we we need more staff just like everybody else and that's with the limited capacity and salt and our kakako has been super busy a lot of visitors coming through but when they come over to the village bottle shop and tasting room they run into this contact tracing mm -hmm. form you mentioned that there's a lot of confusion even when it comes to the contact tracing form because we might be the only state that probably still might follow this I, I think we we might be um, and we still have a lot of visitors and so with the new tier 5 um, you know it's gonna make it easier for travelers to come in to the to the state because um, if they're vaccinated that they don't have to do the quarantine or the, the te pre testing um, but a lot of them aren't aware of that we still have rules um, and that's a that's a big confusion point and it puts a lot of added pressure onto our employees to become sort of health police um, and in, in informing visitors like hey you know we still have these restrictions we still have mask wearing indoors we still have contact tracing forms um, and it takes a little bit of effort to let everybody know that and um, thankfully um, most people are you know they, they don't mind doing it yeah but it is one of those things where it's still another step that um, employees have to go through a every lot of day. pressure too and mm -hmm. then you all mentioned you all are hiring right now usually yes. you would all open at 11 o'clock in the morning yep. but because of this hiring issue that not only you guys are dealing with but a lot of restaurants are dealing with you know we can't open an hour earlier yeah we're still um, running somewhat limited hours um, we're almost back to normal um, we'd like to get back to you know opening an hour earlier every day but that's gonna mean um, hiring more people um, and it's a struggle everybody's competing for a very small amount of um, employee kind of pool yeah so it makes it difficult well, thank you so much, Timothy, for just sharing your thoughts with us on um, Take Two. We really appreciate it. And for those of you who are curious, come check out Salt and Our Kakako. Beautiful space. We just covered the outdoor areas, how they're really expanding to really accommodate to these adjustments. But if you want some more details, head over to our website at KHON2.com. Reporting from Salt and Our Kakako, Dallas Navarro's KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas.